Another crazy week. What the heck is going on with this season? First night game is going to be between New Orleans and Arizona. Now, Arizona only scored nine points against Seattle, and Kyler Murray attempted over 50 passes. They couldn't score a touchdown in that game. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they lost late to the Bengals. They had the lead for a lot of the game, but at the end, they just couldn't finish. This one's a tough one, but I'm going to go with the Cardinals at home for this. But really, it could be anybody's game. Cleveland taking on Baltimore. For Baltimore, what the heck happened to Lamar? Against the Giants, he just did not look good at all. I don't know what's going on with him lately. He was doing so well early. Now, he's in a slump. Hopefully, he can pull himself out of it. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, lost to the Patriots. Really, at the end of the game, they did not look good at all. It's a tough one, again, but I'm going to go with Cleveland over Baltimore. Really, I just don't know if I can trust Baltimore anymore. Tampa Bay taking on Carolina. Both these teams lost last week. For Tampa Bay, they lost to Kenny Pickett and the Steelers. That offense just could not get going against that Steelers defense. Meanwhile, Carolina, they are now 1-5 and five and have just traded away Robbie Anderson after a crazy scene on the sideline. As far as this game, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay, but really, these teams need to turn it around quickly. Atlanta taking on Cincinnati. Cincinnati is starting to hit their stride. They are really looking like the team of old the past few weeks. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they are better than I thought they were going to be. Right now, they're at 500, but I just don't see them beating Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati team. Detroit taking on Dallas. For Detroit, coming off a bye. They have looked good at times this year, but they just haven't been able to put it all together. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they're coming off a loss to the Eagles on Sunday night. I'm going to go with Dallas over Detroit on this one, but don't be surprised if this game comes down to the wire like a lot of these Lions games have this year. Giants taking on Jacksonville. For the Giants, I wouldn't have guessed that they would be 5-1 right now. They have already surpassed their win total from last year. Daniel Jones is looking like a respectable quarterback. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, they are coming off a loss to Indianapolis, but they still look like a better team than they were last year. I'm going to go with the Giants over Jacksonville, and the NFC East is looking like a really good division, except for the Commanders. Speaking of the Commanders, they are taking on Green Bay, and I don't know what else I can say about the Commanders. It looks like Dan Snyder might be forced out sooner rather than later. If that does happen, I will definitely do a video about that, because that is, that is big. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, yeah, this offense is definitely struggling. Aaron Rodgers is definitely missing. Devontae Adams, hopefully he can get some kind of connection with his receivers. I'm going to go with Green Bay over Washington just because Washington, they just do not look good. Even though they picked up a win Thursday night, I still think the Packers are going to win this game. Indianapolis taking on Tennessee. For Indianapolis, second straight week playing a division rival. Last week they were able to pick up a win against Jacksonville. Meanwhile, Tennessee's coming off a bye. And really, they need to turn it around quickly. Because right now, they're 2-3, and three, and they just haven't looked good at all this year. I'm going to go with Tennessee over Indianapolis, but I'm not too confident about it. Jets taking on Denver. Now, if you would have told me one of these teams would be 4-2, and two, the other 2-4, and four, I would have thought it would be Denver that is 4-2, and two, and the Jets are 2-4. and four. That is not the case. The Jets are 4-2. and two. They are looking really good this year it's amazing just what is going on with this season meanwhile for Denver the offense just isn't clicking right now Russell Wilson is not looking good and we all know the case with Nathaniel Hackett I gotta go with the Jets over Denver on this one Houston taking on the Raiders both of these teams coming off the bye and both of these teams only have one win on the season as far as this game I'm gonna go with the Raiders because they have the better quarterback but you know what I've been burned on that before wouldn't be surprised that happens again. It's, yeah, these teams just not looking good right now. Seattle taking on the Chargers. For Seattle, Geno Smith is putting up some nice numbers so far this year. Hopefully he can keep it up. Meanwhile, the Chargers, they're coming off a short rest. They played Monday night, able to pick up an overtime victory. I'm going to go with the Chargers over the Seahawks on this one. KC taking on San Francisco. KC lost to Buffalo last week in the rematch of the divisional round last year. And San Francisco, they picked up a loss against Atlanta. I, I'm going to go with KC on this one. They are going to fight for this win. Pittsburgh taking on Miami for Miami. It looks like two is going to be back this week, but 
against the Steelers' defense, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh over Miami. Chicago taking on New England. For Chicago, Justin Fields could have easily had two game-winning drives this year. First one, the receiver fumbles the football. And the second one, he just couldn't get over the goal line. His receiver, I mean. That is how close they are to being 4-2. and two. Meanwhile, for New England, New England has actually looked pretty good, even without Mac Jones. Picked up a win against Cleveland, and they shut out Detroit. I'm going to go with New England over Chicago, but I'm hoping Justin Fields starts to come into his own a little bit. All right, guys, those were my picks for Week 7. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.